House Chairperson, today is a good day to be a South African. Today is a historic day in our Parliament's history and a day that should make us all proud to be members of Parliament. Most importantly, today should make us all proud to be South African. When the history books are written, today will be remembered as the day Parliament managed to expose and destroy the monster of state capture in ESCOM. Today marks the day that South Africa won. For too long, we as a country were stuck in what seemed to be an unbreakable cycle of corruption, greed, theft, mismanagement, maladministration and terror. So great was the monster that is state capture that at times it seemed that this monster and the parasites that were feeding off it would never be captured, never mind destroyed. The Public Enterprises Portfolio Committee soon realized that we had become the country's first line of defense. We were on the people's watch and it was our duty to guard and protect the country from the monster. We had a rocky start. Never before had Parliament embarked on such an ambitious task. We required legal opinions that what we were attempting to do and accomplish was lawful, so that when certain individuals tried to stop us, and believe you me, they tried, we would be armed with everything that we needed. We soon realized that we had a very powerful weapon on our side. We had the South African Constitution, which allowed for us to do our jobs. We were protected, and that's all that was needed. During the inquiry, I began to realize why the Mafia have a code of silence known as Omerta. Now you see, this code of silence only works if everyone adheres to the same rules. You never talk out, you never flinch, you never give away secrets. Thankfully, like most bullies and parasites, once you have them in a corner, they quickly buckle under pressure as they possess no real courage and they depend on one another to keep safe. It took one parasite to break Omerta, and the floodgates were open. What happened during the Public Enterprises inquiry into state capture at ESCOM played out in the public like a James Bond movie. It was hard to believe that those who were more walking amongst us had managed to amass the power that they had due to the protection that they were receiving from the very highest echelons of power. They had virtual free reign to pillage ESCOM and rob South Africa blind. In one piece of testimony, I asked a witness, why didn't you report what was happening when you realized something was wrong? The answer, quite simply, was actually this. Who do you report it to when it goes straight up to the very top? I must emphasize that we did not only have parasites that came to give us evidence. Many brave South Africans came forward at huge personal cost to tell us exactly what was happening. To those who volunteered to testify and give us information to help with the inquiry, I would like to offer my sincere thanks. You have proved that good will always triumph over evil. You are proof that in a world dominated by corruption, there are good people who are brave enough to fight, and you can be called true patriots. Chairperson, I have thanked him before, but I must, during this, what I consider to be a great South African victory, thank Advocate Fanara, the evidence leader of our committee, just one more time. The history books will remember him as a true South African hero, a fighter for free and fair society. What he personally sacrificed, the hundreds of hours that he put in preparation, in, del in, preparation, in deliberation and insisting the committee, will never and must never be forgotten. This report is excellently drafted. It has the legal precision, precision and is perfectly frank and a true representation of what happened in the inquiry. However, this report goes one step further in that it makes recommendations to Parliament that action must be taken by this very House against Ms. Dudu Mayeni, Mr. Dudazani Zuma, Mr. Tony Gupta, Mr. Atal Gupta and Mr. AJ Gupta. I believe that this will be the first time that such action is taken by Parliament, and therefore that in itself is historic. This report will be handed over to Deputy Chief Justice Zondo. It will form part of the evidence that he will lead in the state capture inquiry. We as a portfolio take great pride in handing over this report to the Zondo Commission. Our work in defending this country has paid off.
We recommend that a number of people are also called to testify before the Zondo Commission, including Mr. Brian Crimea River Malefi, Dr. Ben Ngabani, Mr. Anoj Singh, ex-minister Lynn Brown, and ex-minister Malusi Gigaba, to name but a few. Information that is currently being uncovered is proving that these individuals will have more than just ESCOM to worry about when they face the Zondo Commission. Dirty hands were also all over Danel, Transnet, Alex Corps, and many other state-owned entities. Speaker, today is indeed a great day to be a South African. Today we prove to our country that we can and will triumph over evil. Today we prove that if you remain brave, steadfast, and determined, you will win. Today we prove that South Africans are brave, kind, and resilient. Today we understand what that feeling is, that particular flame that burns deep inside of you. It's inside all South Africans. It's a feeling of pride. It's a feeling of pride that we have that although we have shame in our government, we are completely proud of our country. Speaker, it's that proudly South African feeling that makes you want to hug someone when you're out of the country and you hear someone say, etara, shap shap, or how's it? It's that feeling that tells us that we're stronger and better and undefeatable when we are together. It is that flame that burns inside us that tells us no matter how hard they will try to divide us, we will always remain united. It is that flame inside of us that reminds us of the preamble to our beautiful constitution that says, we the people of South Africa recognize the injustices of the past, honor those who suffered for justice and freedom in our land, respect those who work to build and develop our country, and believe that South Africa belonged to all who live in it, united in our diversity. Today I say to the people of South Africa, being elected as a member of parliament is the greatest honor of my life. This report is not only a victory for parliament, this is a victory for all the people of South Africa. To my colleagues on the committee, I salute you all. I am proud to stand beside you and I must tell you that the pleasure has been all mine in working with each and every one of you. Chairperson, today is indeed a very good day to be South African. I thank you.